In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to model interactions between objects in Java. Now, in UML, interactions are also known as relationships. So it's the messages sent among objects that give a system dynamic behavior, and these are represented in UML through the relationships uh, among classes. So as you can see in this table below, this is a list of uh, existing relationships in UML. Uh, in Java related terms, we haven't seen what all of these relationships means, um, but we will do so in future videos. So just for now, we're just going to look briefly at them. So let's look at the first relationship here. So generalization, which is depicted by this uh, image here. <clears throat> so A generalizes B. So B, this basically means that B is a subclass of A. So in Java terms, um, this is known as uh, extends. Which So this is the only relationship that we've actually uh, seen up until now in Java terms. So this is what it looks like in UML terms. The next relationship is known as dependency, depicted by this. So A depends on B. We'll see in future videos what this actually represents. Then we have association. Uh, an A sends messages to a B, so associations apply a direct communication path. In programming terms, it means instances of A can call methods of instances of B. For example, if a B is passed to a method of an A. Then we have the aggregation uh, relationship. So an A is made up of B. This is a part to whole relationship where A is the whole and B is the part. In code, this essentially implies A has fields of type B. <clears throat> then we have the last relationship, composition. And A is made up of B with lifetime dependency. That is, A aggregates B. And if the A is destroyed, its B uh, are destroyed as well. So don't worry if you don't understand what these actually mean or do. As I said, um, this is just to um, initiate you to these relationships at this current point. We'll see precisely what they do um, in future videos. So in the next step, I'm going to show you how to um, model uh, these relationships using Eclipse. Uh, so meet me in the next step. So here we are in Eclipse, and as you can see, we've already um, modeled our object animal here. And uh, to be able to model an interaction, we obviously have to have more than one object or more than one class. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a new class, so Java classifier, and then we're going to add the, uh, let's say, dog class dog like so and as you can see which is very practical uh, Eclipse on well, the plugin for Eclipse uh, generates the uh, interaction or the relationships whichever term you prefer between uh, both objects so as you can see this is what is known as a um, a generalization relationship uh, that we saw in the previous table so uh, basically, uh, Eclipse will um, generate all of the relationships depending on your code. So um, that's how you model uh, relationships or interactions in Java.